Luke, are you ready to teach? You gonna teach, Luke? It's a good girl. So good morning, good morning. We have day 33. We have one more week of this moment of prosperity and it just seems to get richer, richer, and richer all the time. And as I was, as it's a funny confluence because a, an aspiration, it isn't an aspiration, it isn't anything that I have chosen. I was given the instruction, somehow it was made clear to me to give way to release as much as I can for this one in one week I turned 50. And I'm so grateful to have lived this long and it could be changed in a moment and all the things that I think that I need they wouldn't come along with me. And so I have an opportunity to shed my past possessions the way a snake would shed its skin and then start anew. And I knew that was something I needed to do. And man, have I been struggling with that. <laughs> and so yesterday just started clearing out the closets, clearing out the bookshelves. I don't own that much stuff, but what I do have seems to be quite ferocious in how I want to hold on to it. Am I willing to believe that there is prosperity everywhere, all the time? And if so, just keep, become a better conduit by letting it out and letting it through. And this is just such a, a racy week for me as I come up to this time when it's so clear that's, that's the word, let it go. Letting go of the in-person classes, which I've taught for over 13 years. Letting go, letting go of identities, letting go of the way that I, I school my children. They're old enough that they need to be doing more of their own work and I'm just overseeing rather than being a teacher. It's a big shift. So it's, you know, how, what else can I let go of? And so that's when we really call up this practice and we trust it to carry us forward, to change us. Thank you for this beautiful day of potential weightlessness, magnificent connection. We're blessed to have the opportunity to travel light, to be relieved of our burdens with the help of divine hands to rest in. Show us the sacred in everything. Help us to recognize it in the simple things. Direct us on how to let the old fall away, the old ideas, the outdated patterns, the heavy reluctance, the obsolete models. Allow our stripped down, winterized minds and bodies to feel the sensation of new buds, new life, and solar energy. May it be so. Travel lightly. Palms together. To be rich in every moment. <laughs> ah. Tuning in, om namo. Bow to everything outside of me. All that holds me and heals me, knows me, guides me. Guru Dev namo. I bow to everything inside of me that is learning to listen. And to lean in three times in hell.
shoulders roll your wrists, shake it out, come to lie your good selves down. Good morning. Thank you for your practice. Knees to your chest, on your exhale, bring your knees to your chest closer, and hands on the shins, press it away. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, float it over. Three more. Lift your head and shoulders. So if you're pregnant, feet to the floor, tap opposite heels. If you're not pregnant, you're ready to go. Palms face down, little pumps out the mouth to start. From there, close the mouth out the nose. Left leg long, right knee in. Change your legs. Knees together, feet together, working here, our legs long. Two. Knees bend, palms together, point at the ceiling. Extend your legs, roll your way up. That's exhale. Bend your knees, lie back, feet to the floor. That's inhale. So rolling up, take one hand up over revolving and then roll back down. Inhale. Exhale, sitting up, turn the other way and lie back. And just continue. Turning one and then turning the other. Rotate through the navel. One more. Good. Knees bend, circling the right knee or extending the right leg and reaching out into the ball of your foot. Gather it in like a spiral so that the circle gets a little smaller, a little more precise, and then reverse out through the spiral, turning your heel in and your toe out, finding the right side of your low abdomen and the full circumference of your hip socket, and then changing. Left knee circles, that can be your work or extending the right leg, heel turns in. Start large, and from that size, gather it in, finding the spiral that gains precision as it comes in. To reverse, and the same thing, starting small, to expand out. And the full circle. Good. And then two knees bend, widen your feet and gather them in a circle. 
you may start with this simple circle or you may roll your hips off the floor and roll them back down as the legs go longer. So you may roll your feet overhead and then roll your feet wide and reverse your direction. Lengthening through the low back, the inner thighs, and the strength of the navel. Then knees to your chest. Roll a little forward, roll a little back. And then as you roll forward, extend your legs out, reaching forward and bending your elbows, bring it back. Exhale forward, inhale back. So you're drawing your shoulder blades towards your spine and then away. One more. To sit up tall, palms together. And now as long through your arms as you can manage, a great circle. If you need to bend your knees, bend your knees. And use this circle to loosen through the upper back a great antidote for when you've been seated for a long time working on something in front of you, even cooking or typing, emailing, reverse direction. So if you're pregnant, you're going to reverse your circle again through the arms, or you may lie back with your feet together. Find that circle in the legs. We'll just go three. Ah, becoming as graceful as possible. Two. <laughs> and then reverse your direction, either your arms or your legs. And it's a means of flushing out the back body, the backs of the hips, the backs of the shoulders, all anchored in the navel. Good. And knees bend and feet flat. And pause, draw your knee to your chest. And I know we've done happy baby here, and I'm just gonna change it up because we have one more week Left knee in, right foot flat. Shake out the left foot. So we're just gonna have a slight change in the way in which we open the hips and the low back. Knees to your chest, roll up, roll over, and put your blanket down under your knees, into hands and knees, and have a block nearby, within reach. So I have a blanket down. And you've seen these moves if you've done my vinyasa at any point, a block up in front. As you draw your toe back, you reach out and then knee to chest and you open and you close. And then rather than having the foot to the floor, extend your foot back, knee to chest, open, close, open, close. As though bringing your knee towards your armpit or your elbow, just for three, mm -hmm. and two. <sighs> And one. And as you set it down, the left hand onto the left block, right? Take your left foot, pivot it out to the left. And the right foot, the leg you just moved, goes flat to the floor. So you're along the length of your mat. And you find a great backward circle in the right hand, three. And you're finding a line from your back heel through your right hip, through your right shoulder, through your right hand, And then pausing, the pelvis broadens, press your left thumb down into the floor, broaden across the chest, lengthen through the navel, wriggle your right fingers, strengthen your right leg, good, and bring it down so that you can go to the other side. I'm going to turn just so you can see it, and it's simply knee to chest. So foot to the floor to start, finding the hinge of your hip and loosening there. 
or reaching your foot back and back. Three, two. So it's really reaching from the hip into the heel. Put the block under your right hand. So right hand on the block, right toes turn to the right, and the left foot is on your mat. And now a big back circle. And with that back circle, you're lengthening into the left heel. You can let your hips drop back and then swing forward. The block needs to be higher. Put it on its edge. You're just finding length. One more. And as you pause, your right toes press down, your right hip comes forward, the pelvis broadens. For two. And for one. And looking down, setting down, you can set your block aside, you may set your blanket aside. And come to lie down on your right side. So the right side body puts the left leg on top, right hand to the head. And we do our little reverse circles. So with that lengthening just a moment ago, see if there's a little more from all the way, the mid ribs all the way to the tip of your toe. Take that length back behind you for three. A little further back, a little higher up, too. Just exploring what the hamstring can do. Good. Draw the left knee up and tap your toe. Draw the left knee up and tap it in front. And up, tap behind. Up, tap in front. So you're rotating the left knee as open as it will go as though you could roll the knee behind you without rolling your ribs or your hip. One more. So this time, lift your knee and straighten the leg. Bend your knee, tap your knee. Lift it up, straighten it out. To bend, to tap, up, and straight. To bend, to tap, to up, to straight. One more over, to up, to straight. Good. Bend your knee, lie on your back. <sighs> Put your left palm on your left thigh. Press into the thigh. And pressing your thigh into your hand, bring your left knee to point at the ceiling. And then pressing your hand into knee, widen the knee out to the left. So you're pressing your left knee to point up to the ceiling and you're slowly pressing the knee wide. And there is a resistance, there's a meeting of the palm and the thigh that is strong. Open it out and stay right there, you're in tree. So reach into your right foot, take your right hand overhead, press the left knee wide. And broaden through the base of the pelvis. Broaden from the left hip to the right shoulder. We'll come over onto the left side body. So as you lie on your left hip and your left elbow is bent supporting your head, reverse circle through the right foot. Take it up and back and extend into the toes like you were being pulled by a great spring by the tips of your toes, getting longer, a little higher, and a little further back so that you're extending, lengthening instead of shortening. Three, two, and one. Good, bend your knee up, tap your toes. Bend your knee up and tap your knee. So you roll open and tap, up and tap down. Roll open and tap. And start to feel how you're using the accessory muscles, all the little muscles that work together to allow your hip to have its full range of motion. They require you to use them. So straighten your right leg high, bend the knee, and tap the knee. Roll it open, straighten it out, bend, and tap. Roll open to straighten, to bend, and to tap. One more. Up, 
bend and tap. Roll onto your back, left leg stays straight, right knee is bent, right hand on right thigh, press. And press your right thigh into your hand and bring your right knee up against that resistance and then gently widen your right knee out to the right. Two more. Taking your time, feeling all the muscles, ha, ah, all the way across to the left side of the pelvis. One more. The knee points up, the hand presses to the thigh, the knee drops open, keep that, press the right thigh, left hand overhead. And now just give it time. Knees to chest. Mm. Good, good, good. Hands inside your thighs, press into your heels, and bend your knees. Press your heels away, bend your knees, pull your knees close, and press out, and one more. As you press your legs straight, stay, using your hands to widen the thighs apart. Flexing the feet so you're all the way into the tips of your toes. The low back is long. Bending your knees. Gather it in. And roll it up. To build your cross-legged seat, just noticing what you're doing. Sitting tall, heart high. Let's do three back circles on the right. Two. And three back circles on the left. So the chest is open, arms are long. And pause tall. Our Kriya begins here opening the door to prosperity, that there's nothing to acquire, there's nothing to access, there's nothing to do. We are already prosperous. We're learning to feel it. Pinkies tap, first finger knuckle taps. So I tap, tap, as though describing a great circle. With each tap is the sound of hug, H-A-R, and my right thumb fits beneath my left. Hud, 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 hud is the sound of the infinity that creativity draws on. The space of the new idea that you've never known but that has always been available. Hud, 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 hud. Eyes closed, two minutes. Hud, 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 hud. Ha, 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 
Ha. 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 Three, two, one. Hands up. Inhale. Three more sips. Dark your chin, hook your thumbs, reach. Lift the pelvic floor. If you run out of breath, let it out. Inhale it back up and reset. Draw your attention up the spine, up to the midbrain. The elbows soften, chin up, breath out, eyes closed, and slowly descend. There is the possibility of accessing so much more. But not by trying. Simply realizing it's right there. Allowing it to be so. Palms open. You'll cross your forearms, each ha, 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 ha. A super modification, if that's best for your shoulders at any point, come back. But try it out, arms straight. The forearms cross in front of your forehead, spread your fingers wide, don't lose track of your fingertips here. Ha, 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 ha. Find that momentum, find that syllable, and then with the mouth closed, find the syllable in your mind, hearing it silently, right at the third eye center. Tuck your chin, reach, 
pelvic floor lifts, gathering like a rosebud. If you need to release the breath and come back in, set it up and be still. Gather up the spine, out to the midbrain. The elbows bend, the chin comes up, the breath comes out, the eyes close, and notice access to all ideas. All opinions, all positions, all perspectives. Everything we encounter that seems a stranger, we meet with this creative infinity, this prosperity of possibility. You are a part of me I do not know yet. Palms open, thumbs into your palms, fold your fingers over your thumbs. We'll go reverse circles here. If you need to shake out your legs, this requires a strong seat, this one, right? So set yourself up if you need to hop onto a chair, fantastic. And working here with the elbows bent or the arms up, reverse circles, so they're going back and around. And with each circle, we have a hug. No, with each circle we have good, 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 good. That in that creative infinity, in that land of possibility, what is unfamiliar is not wrong. We claim it as good, good, good. We retrain ourselves, good. Close your eyes and repeat, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. That what was not good at the beginning of 40 days is becoming good. And in that goodness spreading, in our expansion of perspective, we become godlike. God, 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 God. That we allow all perspectives. God, God. If God doesn't work for you, go to good, 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 good. Allow them to combine. They are the same and they are you. Good, God, 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 good, 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 God, 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 good, 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 God, 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 good, 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 good. God, 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 good, 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 God, 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 good, 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 God, 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 good, 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 God, 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 God. God, 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 good, 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 God, 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 good, 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 God, 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 good, good. Good, good, God, 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 good, 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 three, two, one, inhale. Open your thumbs, tuck your chin, rise. Gather at the midbrain, reset if you need to, and stay. Release. 
there is good everywhere. Bring it from this ethereal frequency down into the spaces between the bristles on your toothbrush, between the words in your recipe, between the tines of your fork, between the toes. So this downward motion with the hands, this grounding, this embodiment, take all that good and bring it into the practicalities of your life and yet keeping that creative possibility. Had, hare, hari, wa, he, guru. 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 Ha hare hari wa he guru ha hare hari wa he guru ha hare hari wa he guru keep going that infinity that creativity that possibility that which is made that which makes and that which is making you are all three ha hare hari Wa he guru, har hare hari. Wa he guru, har hare hari. Wa he guru. Whisper. and whistle. Arm up, palm down, right arm on top, palm down, sitting tall. I'll go in for four, pause for four, out for four. If you have a longer breath in that count, pause the same count and out the same count. If you need to, go to three. Go off of my count when it's necessary, when it suits you. For now, if you choose, in two, three, four, pause. Chest, the throat, pause. 
deep breath in and out the throat, the ribs, the belly, in. One more. Here we'll follow a breath pattern. In the nose, out the nose. In the mouth, out the mouth. In the nose, out the mouth. In the, in the mouth, out the nose. And I'll talk you through it. In the mouth means like you're sipping water. It's very small, very simple, very subtle. In the nose, out the mouth, in the mouth, out the nose. In nose, out nose, in mouth, out mouth. Out mouth. In mouth. Out mouth. Continue on your own. Follow the pattern.
to conclude this next round. That's five minutes. And if that's enough, fly back, placing your blanket over your hips and your lower body. In the nose, out the nose. In the mouth, out the mouth. In the nose, out the mouth. In the mouth, out the nose.
the end of the next breath pattern. The hands come down. Pause. Just be still a moment. Stay longer if you have time. Even just the next five or ten minutes. Just pause where we are in the video or switch it off so that you can listen to what your body asks for, what your spirit calls for. And as you're ready, you'll replay. Bending your knees, palms together. Lift your feet, rub your feet. Hands to shins. Rolling up to a simple seat. Arriving to sweep wide and reach tall all the way up and overhead. And palms together and down the middle. All the way up. And palms together and thumbs to the forehead center. I bow to this renewed truth of who I am. Long set, short nod, inhale. everywhere 
especially in the spaces in between. So may you tend and take and eat the gifts in the garden of the text, in the gaps, in the margins, in the secret spaces among the words. May you find places to create stories anew. A prosperity is an opening to what has not been seen yet. An imagining, a creative possibility, a willingness. Find it in the spaces in between what you know. We'll be back on Saturday. If you do this digitally, we're playing Saturday by ear, just this Saturday, because it is my last in-person. I'm not sure how many people will fit in the room and if we have to move the camera. The in-person people take the priority just for this Saturday. I'll be back. The online classes will continue. We're just going to honor one chapter closing in person this weekend. So in person this Saturday at 9.30 Eastern and this Sunday 8 a.m. Eastern. And then next week will be our last classes of this sequence. Prosperity will go on. I'll see you then.